Welcome back. Stretching your dollar at the grocery store. Joining us this morning with some examples of the most nutritious food that we can get for the least amount of money is Monica Ryan Eagle, a nutritionist with nutritiondata.com. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Hold Michelle. On, let me switch over all my stuff. <laughs> Good to see you. So, so we can save a ton of money at the grocery store. And I have to say, some of these tips that we were talking about before, and we will be talking about, I already do. So. We great, should have come to tips. you. We, no, never, never, never. But, but this is great stuff. So tell me what, how to save money. Well, one thing is that you need to keep in mind that small conveniences like having your lettuce pre-washed or your cheese pre-sliced for your cracker, that comes at a premium. So for right. example, you'll pay three or four dollars for a, a bag of pre-washed salad greens. Uh -huh. You can get twice as much lettuce for half the price if you can spend two minutes and wash it at home. And I don't know about you, but right. I always end up rinsing this off anyway, anyway just to freshen it up. So how much time are you so really instead saving? Of this, get like, you know, you can get like a ton of romaine or you can get the butter lettuce, whatever. That's just right. wash it and you have it. And That's right, and it's fresher. Costs less. Exactly. Okay, so what about with the, um, is it the same idea with the little it's carrots? The same thing with the carrots. If you can peel your own carrots, if you can slice your own cheese, how, how long does that take? And right. you can really trim a lot of uh, expense off of your fruit And bill. these are really little pieces of, of carrots anyway. They it's are. not like they're actually baby carrots. They're not they're baby carrots. Up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So what are we looking at here? If you're looking to trim the fat from your food bill, you need to stay out of the junk food aisle altogether. The okay. chips and the snacks, they run up your grocery bill. They contribute nothing to your diet nutritionally. Right. And this can be five bucks. Right. Here's a tip. If you're okay. in the mood for something salty and crunchy, try some sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. We paid a dollar for these. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So it's a fraction of the price and you're getting a lot more nutrition. And dried fruit can be a nice way to satisfy the sweet tooth, mm -hmm. but you're getting some bonus fiber and antioxidants with that instead really of good. the candy. Yeah. Okay. Just don't overdo it because it's, they can be high in calories. So That's right. Just overdo it. So with this foods, tip, yeah, what's, what's going on with this? With foods like yogurt and applesauce, you can save about half simply by buying the large container instead of these individual serving sizes. Right. And if you're packing these in your lunch, it takes less than a minute to put it in a small reusable container. And right. that's also more ecological, too. Or on Monday, just bring this whole honking thing in with you <laughs> and put it in a little refrigerator. If you have a refrigerator Done. at work, that's exactly. right. But so there's easy. no sense in paying for the, no. the packaging. Right. It costs a whole lot more. Iced tea. Love iced tea. You always want to be on the lookout for things that you can easily make yourself. Okay. Now, I'm not talking about rolling your own pasta or baking right. your own bread unless you're into that. But why would you pay two fifty for a jug of iced tea when you can pour hot water over some tea bags and make your own for twenty cents? You can do sun tea make today, sense. especially. Just Absolutely. throw it out for like three hours, That's cover right. it up, and, and five you're minutes. Good. I think would have us covered today. It's crazy. Yeah, right. exactly. Frozen broccoli. Yeah, as now when, are fresh. When produce is expensive, uh -huh. frozen vegetables are a great alternative. And most people think that maybe they're not as nutritious as the fresh. Absolutely, you don't sacrifice anything nutritionally. And here's okay. the thing. It's much less likely to go bad in your refrigerator before you get to it. Right. That means there's that's less waste. And which means so you're not throwing it out, which breaks my heart. Nothing money. breaks my heart more than throwing out food. I hate it. That's and right. you can go to the big package stores and buy like a you giant thing. Bags. I do that with the blueberries too, all year round, even that's though right. we're in season now. Frozen fruits and vegetables. And what are we looking at here? Anything? Now, one of the most expensive, yeah, we're looking at something. <laughs> One of the most expensive items on your grocery list is going to be meat. So right. one way to trim your bill is just to enjoy a meatless meal once or twice a week. It's right. also healthy for you. Still has protein. Still has proteins. You can. This has some cannellini beans in here, some Israeli couscous, some that wonderful broccoli, it's Rob. Beautiful. Or Michelle, uh, you can get used to using meat more as an accompaniment rather than as the main event. So instead so of a, a chicken breast with some vegetables on the side, you right. can have a big salad, a few chicken strips on top. Very, Very nutritious. Advice. Save some money. Or ju you just eat a quarter of this and make sandwiches for four days. Yeah, that's a family of four. Meal for a family of four. Right. Thank you, dear. We have put all of these tips on our website, 7online.com. Click on the See It on TV link on the upper right-hand side, and you will see weekend morning interviews and tips, and definitely say hi to Monica when you're at the supermarket.